Ladies and gentlemen, let me extend my warm greetings to you from the Geneva headquarters of the World Health Organization. You are commemorating the 100th antiretroviral drug granted tentative approval by the FDA. This is an achievement welcomed by WHO on many levels. The HIV AIDS epidemic changed international thinking about diseases and the need for care in significant ways. It brought unprecedented attention to the issue of fair access to medicines. When effective antiretroviral treatments became available, an ability to pay became equivalent to an ability to survive for many millions of patients. The work done by the FDA in support of the President's Emergency Program for AIDS Relief promotes the expedited approval of generic products that meet the high standards of the FDA. The benefits of this work are extended through collaboration with the WHO Pre-Qualification of Medicines Program. This program gives quality medical products a seal of approval that guides purchasing decisions, whether by national governments, aid programs or UN agencies. Established in 2001, the WHO program pioneered work on the assessment and pre-qualification of the first generic antiretroviral medicines and the first triple fixed dose combination product for HIV AIDS. At the time, this was a breakthrough in regulatory thinking. The program also established a framework for working with regulatory authorities and assisting industry in ways that ultimately benefit patients. The authorization procedures followed by FDA operate as an incentive, an incentive for generic manufacturers to enter the market for antiretroviral medicines. Purchase by USAID adds an economic incentive. Competition among generic manufacturers brings prices down. By special arrangement, products approved by the FDA are added by the program to its list of pre-qualified medicinal products. In the case of therapies for HIV AIDS, what this means is first-rate medicines from multiple manufacturers at lower prices in a process that is efficient, inclusive, and widely accessible. Everyone benefits, but most especially people in need of these life-prolonging medicines. This work further shows that public health can indeed achieve greater efficiency without sacrificing quality. Improving access to good quality medicinal products is a core objective of public health efforts and one with a direct and measurable impact on health. I'm sure that many millions of people in the developing world are equally grateful to the FDA for its work in this area. Thank you and congratulations.